Hello everybody and welcome to episode 25 of my RTP. I apologize for my last few videos. They haven't been quite up to par and I do apologize for that. I've, I've just been so busy and so stressed out with things going on. I haven't been of much use to anybody, not even myself. So how's everybody doing today? As you can see, I'm picking my favorite character, the sharpshooter, in Deathmatch. And I'm joining into a game... I still don't know these maps. I don't know what to call them. First target is, of course, the priest. Um, I'm not really sure if I'll be able to give off any, uh... Any... Aw, oh, I missed first blood. I always miss first blood. I, I like getting first blood. That's, like, the only thing I really do enjoy getting. I don't care about anything else. As I've said in previous videos, I don't care about uh, winning, losing, doing super awesome. Put on my disguise, kind of walk around the corner. Because I have no idea who my pursuer is. I just heard whispers. I have two pursuers, <laughs> and I'm in fourth place. That's that's fantastic. Um, as I've said before in another video, I love this hallway. And I have no idea how I knew that person was my pursuer. I guess it's because I noticed that it's Captain Crunch and the soldier that are NPCs in this game as a definite. And she was just not one of those people. So, and I come around. He starts running away. I'm not going to run after him. I'm just going to let him come to me. <laughs> and this guy in the game. Oh. oh yeah. Smoke is, smoke is overused. And I taunt only because I'm trying to work on the challenge. But smoke is very much overused. He probably should have been able to kill me, but I got really, really lucky right there. 1,200 already. Um, so I'm doing, I'm not doing too bad when it comes to uh, coming up on people. I've been able to take out two pursuers. Oh, ambush, I think. I think that's an ambush kill because I didn't even notice him until like last second. Yep, there it is, ambush. Um, I apologize for... For being such a boring commentator. <laughs> and Lady Maverick still mad at me, I think. Um, of course, now I check up when I'm in this area. Because the previous video, a guy can actually jump onto uh, one of the tree limbs. And he is. He's coming at me pretty hard. He is. He is following. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that was about. I didn't hear any whispers, I guess. But he was following me. I don't know why he's, why he's hanging around like that. And that soldier is walking incredibly slow. That was a really weird uh, little movement there. Checking my back. Check my front. This little area is perfect because they can't roof you. That is my biggest concern is getting roofed in games like this. Uh, I just That is my one pet peeve about playing this game. is Often not there will be one to three people on the roof just sitting there waiting for somebody to pass by and then you get roofed i would have to say i've been roofed maybe 20 times so one for actually one for every level that i've done so i haven't been roofed that often because i i kind of think about where people are on the roof well at the same time i kind of stick to myself i hear the whispers and of course i used the wrong ability right there i meant to use my uh i have no idea why she decided to run that way. But uh, I know he's one. So I took him out. And then she's my other one. I got really lucky right there being able to do that. And here comes my target coming right at me. So that brought up a good chain. And I was able to uh, to kind of get away from there. Gets me in the lead at first place. Um... Always try to think about where your, uh, which abilities you're using, because as you can see, I accidentally, I think I do that twice in this one game, and I, I threw a knife her, because she was running, but she wasn't coming after me, so I ended up backing away. I wasn't gonna chase after her just to, just to get a stun. That'd be uh, so I've seen a lot of upper players do it, but I'm not confident enough in myself to say, hey, I'm definitely gonna be able to get that stun. And especially when I had uh, my own contract right there also. I would have ended up getting stunned somehow also. 
So I checked that side. I checked this side. And I have no idea. Lady Maverick right there just walked past. Hmm. Probably should have gone after that, but I didn't. Oh, and there goes one. One for sure down. Gonna come this way. Listen for the whispers. There's some. He was my, he's my contract, so I decided to go after him. Now, she's following me. Now, I don't, I don't know why she's following me, but she is. Come over here to make sure she didn't come around me, but she didn't. So I was kind of lucky. But yes, I I have said this before in another video. I'm a, I'm a bit like laid back. I'm not trying to get first place all the time. Um, I just like to play. I, I don't even care about Abstergo score. I don't care about leaderboards. I don't like to prove that I'm better than somebody else. It's it's just not how I do things. Get the stun on that. It's one thing I like about smoke bombs, because people who run at you should not be able to kill you. It's not right. He shouldn't have been running at me, only because of the fact that if you run, you're not using the uh, the best of your own like radius. I mean, you can run, but don't run directly at somebody. Run at it like an angle, so you kind of stay as far away from them as you can. They're still rooted, and uh, you can use that to your own capabilities rather than putting yourself into a corner and I, I see the preacher coming at me and I also see this guy who decided to come around he he's right there he knows who I am I think I'd hope so considering since I see two pursuers at me I decided to run away which was actually a smart move on my point and I <laughs> I should have hit X when I saw this guy, but I didn't. So he ended up corner stunning me, luckily. But I didn't have too much to be concerned about. Nobody else really uh, saw me running, apparently. My two pursuers just didn't see me. There's the preacher, who I definitely saw for a quick second. Yep, there he is. He's right there. I tried to lock onto him through the wall, but I couldn't do that. So I come up here, try to lure him out a little bit. Um, luring is probably one of the best things you could do. And if you ever feel like you are you have two pursuers right there next to you, and you think you can only take out one of them, don't go after the points. Run away. Um, it's better to run away because most times they'll fight to kill you, so it's whoever gets to you first. And often not, they'll try and... Uh, go different directions and get separated so that way you have the opportunity to take out one at a time rather than trying to take on both so never ever go head first into two pursuers unless you know for a fact you can take them both out like maybe you use throwing knives for one and you run into them and yeah stun them and the other one's right there you throw a smoke bomb down you can get the second one makes things absolutely easy but if you can't do that don't do it I've seen too many people go after that and end up losing because of that one little mistake. And that guy is way ahead of me by like 2,000 points. But it's okay. He actually was one of those people that went into a game with uh, Animus Hack and uh, Kill Buffer. So he was getting an Animus Hack like every, every game that I played with him. I think he got one Animus Hack, which is good for him or whatever it's not that hard to do with kill buffer especially if you're good at the game like you know how to get stuns you know how to get kills you know how to stay alive it, it's it's super easy to do but if you if you're not that good there's there's absolutely no reason for you to be trying to get it all the time now I was trying to go for the corner stun but he came running at me I got an honorable death, and he only got 150 points, so that was a good trade-off. I'll take that. Doesn't bother me one bit whatsoever.
if you can take an honorable death for every time somebody kills you for like 100 points, it's not a big deal. He was running, and he didn't come up as a red, so I'm not worried about him being my pursuer. But I'm still backing off only because I'm hearing whispers a lot. And I got a text message. Now, the funny thing here is sometimes people will wait at these doors, and you're going to meet somebody right around the corner. Now, he was going to try and stun me because he knew I was right there. But, of course, I also noticed him just as quickly. Finished second place, but, uh, like I said, don't, don't go gung-ho if you, if you, if you're just not capable of being gung-ho, I guess. I'm not even capable of doing it, so I don't do it myself. Um, did not get top accolade again, but I do get punched in the middle of top accolade. Awesome. I'm awesome. Get punched in the stomach. Yes. But, uh, thank you guys for